It is iPhone launch day, and if you want to see the higher end of Apple's new iPhone models, the 5S, our own Brandon Miniman has already unboxed it. That video is here on our channel page and at pocketnow.com. But if you're looking for a more colorful take on Apple's new iPhone, stay right here. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and behind the mask here is Apple's new iPhone 5C. Let's unbox it. Okay, so the last time I bought an iPhone, it was 2008, and I was waiting in line at a mall. Fortunately, circumstances have changed somewhat, and this one got delivered to my house. But the packaging has not changed all that much, at least not in terms of Apple on the whole. This is a plastic box, uh, very, very compactly packaged. Let me go ahead and slide off this, um, this face mask here so we can see the device. This is the first time I have seen, personally, an iPhone... Uh, encased like an iPod. You can see the device without even opening the box. That is obviously a fake image there. That's not the actual screen, but look how compact this box is. I mean, you can hold the... The box is... It's not thinner, but it's like... Footprint is about the same size as a large phablet. I mean, this is really, really efficient packaging. Some people say we get a little too excited over packaging uh, with our unboxings, but you know, when it's this well done, you have to appreciate it, and if there's anybody that does packaging better than Apple, frankly, I haven't seen them yet. Here we have a little orange dot to call out where we should begin our unpeeling process. I thought I was going to have to bring out Old Bessie, which is not the name of my unboxing knife, but uh, probably could be if you wanted it to be. Should we have a poll? Forums.pocketnow.com. Let us know what you think. What should I name my unboxing knife? The Old Timer. Uh, which is out of frame for the moment because I'm focusing on the phone. Let's stop rambling. I'm excited. I'm excited about this device, and um, I know a lot of people are less excited. They're more excited about the flagship one, but I like color. As you can see, I got the blue device. Uh, I did, in fact, get a... Let's pop the seal here. That's cool. I did, in fact, get a, uh, a case, a colored case for it, but I got the wrong color because I was too tired, as you might have heard on the Pocket Now Weekly podcast. So the device is fully encased in this top module here. And this, wow, oh, this is so high quality. Okay, we're gonna put this aside. This is heavier than I would have thought. We'll put that aside for a second. This is my first time unboxing an iPhone since the Bush administration. This is cool. Hello yourself, there's nothing else on here. Just hello. iPhone 5C, a little tour of your uh, of your hardware features there. These are bound together. These appear to be info cards. Of course, uh, if you want to display your belonging to the cult of Mac, you can do that. Uh, iPhone 5C, ring sound, switch volume, keys, home button, just telling you about the device. Is there a backside to this? Yes, indeed. Where you can learn more, where you can get support. Here is a SIM removal tool. Very, very nice to have. And general iPhone info, probably some warranty stuff. Rounded corners on this. It's kind of like holding the real-life version of WebOS cards. That's kind of cool. Anyway, you're bored of that already. Let's move on. Oh, yes, I finally get to try EarPods for the first time. Apple's new earbud design shipped with the iPhone 5, so nothing really new to the marketplace, but new to me. All of it packaged um, beautifully, just like the rest of it. This is I, this is no surprise, but it's probably the finest unboxing experience I've had so far. Single USB port on this. I'm used to the Moto X's dual USB port plug, so um, I'm going to be uh, entitled and, and complain about that just so I can inject some artificial balance into this. Nice narrow gauge USB cable, and man, this this is like a cat bowl. It's so well made. Okay, let's put the hardware aside. Excuse me, let's put the packaging aside. Get back to the phone. Folks, the iPhone 5C is available in white, pink, yellow, and green shades as well, but since I never got my wish for a Cyan Lumia 920 or 1020, I decided to go with the blue. Now it's still in its protective case here. I just wanted to make clear uh, that I am very excited about the color, if you couldn't tell already. We'll zoom out a little bit more, just so that we can see what's going on here. Oof, all right. That pops off quickly. I probably did it wrong. I'm holding it wrong. Now, the plastic box was joined to the screen protector, so I messed up before, but let's see if we can get a close-up angle on this peel-off here. Silence, please. That wasn't very loud, but it sure was beautiful. And there, for the first time in the state in which I'm going to be using it, is the new iPhone 5C in blue. Now, you're tired of me showboating, so let me take you around the hardware here. My first impressions of this, this plastic are that it reminds me a bit of a Lumia 920 
uh, one of the glossy editions that is from Nokia. Um, it is, you know, the polycarbonate that, that Apple has used is, um, is high quality, clearly, but it's, uh, as you can see, we're already getting some, some fingerprint action there. Uh, I predict that in very short order, this thing is going to be r just riddled with, uh, with hand skin grease and such. Uh, hopefully the color will help, you know, uh, fight that trend a little bit. But it is definitely worth noting this is very, very different than the iPhone 5. And we will be comparing this to the iPhone 5. But a quick hardware tour for you. An 8 megapixel shooter around back. The same one found in the iPhone 5, I believe. Next door to it, an LED flash. The Apple logo. The iPhone branding down below. Not much else to speak of there. Flipping it over, a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera for FaceTime. Uh, the battery within is slightly larger than the iPhone 5. I'm going to go ahead and power on here while I'm talking about it, but just volume down, volume up, and the ringer silence key. Home button down below, just like every other iPhone, nothing on this side except the SIM tray, which I will be dealing with in a moment. Flip it back around to the front. We'll go ahead and power standby it up up top, and just to take a look at the bottom, there we are. There's our speaker ports, our three and a half millimeter headphone jack, and the lightning port down below. Don't know if I called that a USB cable before, but it's not a USB cable, just in case I did. Let's power on the iPhone 5C. Press and hold. We should get Apple's new flattened UI pretty swiftly here. But just to tell you a little bit more about it, uh, slightly larger battery than we're used to seeing. 5.73 watt hours, around a little higher than 1500 milliamp hours, versus the earlier iPhone's 5.45 watt hours, uh, or 1440 milliamp hours. Uh, that's rated for 10 hours of 3G talk time, 250 hours of standby. This display is a 4-inch 1136 by 640 display at 326 ppi. And this phone is slightly heavier than the, uh, the iPhone we're used to at 132 grams. A little heavier than the iPhone 5S as well. As you can see, I have my hello in multiple languages here. I'm being prompted to slide to set up. I will select, I know there's no SIM in there, I'll put it in later. My primary language is English, my country or region is the United States, and we'll get to the initial setup later on off camera. But for now, just wanted to give you a quick look at the first iPhone that I have had in my possession in a very long time, the iPhone 5C. It may be the lower end of the two options, folks, but we are going to be covering the iPhone 5C extensively at Pocket Now, alongside the higher-end iPhone 5S. So stay tuned throughout next week for that. In the meantime, toss us a like if you enjoyed this unboxing. Do leave us a comment down below if there's something you would like us to take a close look at with the 5C or the 5S. And be sure to follow us on social media. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. This has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. We'll see you soon.